not enough energy. So just as I was about to start my video for tonight, the uh, power went out, which is why it looks like I'm having a mini seance right here going on. So I apologize if this entire video looks like it's a candlelight vigil for something. So for this video, I'm going back to my... Yes! But as I was saying, for this video, I'm actually going to be going back and talking about my favorite subject. Girls. Girls, you might not like what I have to say, but please, this is all just for fun. Aside from having wheels and being both made out of metal and having airbags and leather seats and climate controlled air conditioners, girls are a lot like cars. You see, it's commonly known that with cars, there are three important desired attributes. Ideally, cars should be cheap, fast, and reliable. Of course, there's a catch. The catch is you can only choose two. Cheap and reliable, but definitely not fast. Cheap and fast, but definitely not reliable. And fast and reliable, but definitely not cheap. Please don't hate me. Girls also have three attributes where you can only choose two max. And these three are nice, hot, and smart. Choose wisely. And here's what you have to know about each of them. We'll start with the best one. Nice and smart. Nice and smarts known as NSs are good. They make you want to say, nice. If you're looking for a serious relationship, this is the type that you go for. Because, number one, they'll treat you good. And number two, they'll help you finish that calculus homework that you don't know how to do. So they can be tangent to your curve. Seriously, this is a solid type. NS's. Awesome personalities and they know how to keep a conversation going. Fun to talk to and knows how to treat people. Two extremely important attributes if you're looking for a serious relationship. <laughs> The second category is a little worse than the first. It's your hot and nice group, or the HNs. HNs because the first time you see them and meet them, they make you want to say, <gasps> If you're looking for a serious relationship, this type is not as good as the first, but in the very beginning, they'll make you want to But beware what the future holds. It might be fun in the beginning, but one day, one day when you're on couple Jeopardy together. I personally believe that U.S. Americans like such as we don't have maps in the Iraq. Or even worse. Our lives are in your hands and you have butterfingers. Just remember, looks aren't everything. <laughs> And finally, the third group, and the worst group of all, is your smart and hot group. Smart hots, or SHs, make you want to say, Shh, SHUT THE FRONT DOOR! This is the worst group, because SHs are used to getting whatever they want. Usually, they're hot, so things are just given to them. And, if not, then they're smart, so they know how to get it for themselves. Trust me, these are not good for relationships, because one, you can't get them, and two, they want to kill them. Unless they kill you first. To conclude, I just have two more tips that you guys have to remember. Inevitably, a girl will come along and ask you, which two am I? If they ask you this question, be careful, it's a trap. Trust me, under no circumstances should you discuss their attributes with them. Don't let them know, even if you know in your head. And the second little tip is, I lied. There is a girl out there that is nice, hot, and smart. The day that you find her is the day you have to convince your parents that you want to take her home. Thanks for watching.